What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and today I, uh, I'm responding to a request that I got a couple different times already since I posted uh, a second video about these handles that people were saying can you check this hose with uh, some sort of attachment to be able to run like a foam cannon on it and I was doing a lot of researching and a lot of thinking a lot of soul searching and I was like okay I understand why this thought came up okay so you got the pressure washer version of this and when you turn this on this just shoots I mean it's obviously not the same power but it feels good it feels more powerful to me when I'm using this so whatever black magic is inside of this whatever voodoo that you do do is in here the good stuff the good stuff is going on in here I don't know what the design is it's doing something to the flow maybe I don't know so what we're gonna do is show you what my mind concocted what I found again this is not the perfect situation I might be buying the wrong parts uh, this could be a complete fail it probably will be a complete fail but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this attachment off and I will link these products down below but I found this attachment here this piece here, once I take this off, it'll attach here, hopefully. And then from there, now, I had to get this piece. Again, I'll link all of this down below. So what this is gonna do is attach to here. And essentially, what we're doing is we're adding our own way to attach a foam cannon that would have normally only been attached to a pressure washer. You know, I'm sure people have done this in the past. I didn't even bother researching because I'm my own flavor, baby. So I don't care what anybody's done before. I'm doing it my way. So this has been on here for a hot minute. I'm just going to clean up this chaos for a second. I did get a comment in the other video where somebody was like, Oh, why aren't you using the white Teflon tape instead of, you know, what you are using, right? And that's the reason. This is a thicker tape. In my experience, you see how clean that looks? I basically got it started, I pulled a little edge off. It holds together better. I feel like it seals better and you don't need as much of it because it is thicker. Uh, I don't think that there's much, if any, of a significant price difference to not use it. It just, for me, like it, and it could be any brand. I've used other brands, so I haven't had any difference, but it just stays together. I don't know if anybody's ever pulled off the old Teflon tape and it just comes apart in pieces and it shrivels all over the place and it is kind of a little bit of a pain in the butt to take off at a time. But now you can see, look, comes off perfect. I have literally no problems. So I do not necessarily trust just that O-ring, so I will put a tiny bit again on that. But the idea is that this is gonna have this connection here and again, I'll put a tiny little bit of Teflon tape on here because we are gonna be going from a larger opening down to a smaller one. I don't know, it's gonna make the pressure. I, this is where I'm worried. This whole thing is just where I, I've, I'm worried. I get the idea that maybe something inside and then with this, these fittings in there, I, I don't know, we're gonna find out. Am I confident that this will work? Absolutely not. I have no confidence in this whatsoever. But it is a video and it's one of those things that we're gonna try out. We're not going crazy with the tape either. We're just putting enough on there where we can just get this to the best of our ability. And just make sure that this all still closes. What does that look like? It looks like the beginning of the end of my sanity. Comes on and off same way anything else would and all we need to do now is mix this solution up we'll put some stuff in here got a nice amount of solution in here i'm not going to fill it all the way up i'm going to put some water in this and then we are going to reconvene on the side of the house and see what this does god only knows this is literally going to be one of the most sketchy angles i got this camera hooked up to a bench but the first thing i'm curious about here is whether or not I can just hook up a regular, I can. 
Like, what will this do? This will kind of give me some kind of indication here. All right, I got the water turned on, full tilt and boogie here. Um, am I confident? Again, no, not at all. So we'll see what this does. This is kind of what I thought it was gonna do. A whole lot of, like, nothing. A whole lot of, like, low pressure, nothing compared to the thing that they were doing. This is like, kind of like junk compared to, that's terrible. Maybe it's just this, let's try another thing. Like we're putting myths to rest here. If you're gonna try it, you gotta try it, right? I know some of you guys are just really trying to not get a pressure washer. I think you're gonna have to get a pressure washer. So this is definitely a little bit better, but this is, again, not what we want. Here's another thing. I'll try this bad boy out. Don't want to try this out anyway. This is kind of cool. I'm gonna do a video on this thing uh, eventually, but. Nope, not good. All right, we got one last thing. I feel like there's not gonna be anywhere near enough power for this, but let's see. This is hooked up. Um, you know, what do these you QT guys do? You, you do this crap? I don't think it's gonna do anything. If it does, I'd be shocked. Yep. There you go. Is that it? Are we done with this conversation? So as a little, um, as a little consolation, I will be testing out this thing that I did get from uh, my glove box detail. So we're gonna try that out real quick. Let me go get that. It's starting to get a little hot out, so I'm gonna finish this quick. I don't know if any of you seen um, a video that I did in the glove box, this thing that came. I never threw it out, I kept it. Um, apparently the whole premise of this thing is that there's a option on it where you can decide if you're gonna use this as a foam cannon, which I like that idea, and then you'd flip it over and you can see a little pressure washer icon, or if you wanna hook it up to the hose. And apparently, from that moment, you put the George Jetson Pew Pew on here. I got my quick disconnect. This thing could not feel any cheaper. I don't know. I never wanted to make a whole video, but I figured since we're talking about trying to turn garden hoses into pressure washers, this was the best time ever to do it. So what I'm gonna do is dump the solution that I just made. So we're operating with the same stuff. We are operating with the same deck of cards here, baby. Is this gonna foam up like we uh, anticipate? It's on full beans, soap mode. Again, I'm not confident, but we'll find out. Really? I mean, it's a lot better than the other things I've been using. So you could turn the water setting, so it's just doing water. We can get that off the house. And then you can go straight back to foam bath. This is actually not too bad. Um, I feel like I passed a lot of judgment on it, but listen. It feels like I'm making love to a piece of plastic. It's not too terrible. It's really not too terrible. I feel like I'm gonna have to do another video on the Mac Shine. But anyway, this has gone on too long. I feel like, you know, if you're, uh, if you're looking to get pressure washer type power out of a garden hose, you're never gonna do it. I don't think you should even bother trying. Um, this is absolutely pointless and stupid at the same time. So I'm gonna be returning this, but um, I might keep these fittings actually. This is the only time I'm ever gonna try this. Thank you for your suggestions. This is not it. This is not it. Don't do this, this is stupid. If you're gonna want foam from a garden hose, you're gonna need this or that new Mac Shine I just bought. I got a video coming out on that at some point. They make, uh, Gilmore makes one I believe. 
um, Adams, a bunch of people make these things. Probably chemical guys, I would assume, because they make everything for everything. And uh, yeah, so don't waste your money. Uh, don't try to mod this. Don't ruin a good thing, because it is a good thing. And if you put these attachments on it, it is no longer a good thing. So do not do that. It is a, uh, it is a myth busted. Is that what it is? Is it even a myth? It's an idea busted. Don't do it. It's stupid. I love you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. If you are an OCD OG, I truly appreciate you. And uh, I hope everybody's staying happy, healthy, and humble. Bukaki. See you on the next one. Just uh, one final note. I know posting things that don't work isn't uh, the norm that most people like to do. I know everybody likes to post only their wins, only their wins, because that's, you know, social media. But the amount of thought, which wasn't really a lot, but, it, you know, my time is uh, is very spread out a lot. And it's it's difficult to find time to do things. So for me to not post this to maybe stop someone else or save someone else from doing this or trying this, or maybe stop you from going down this path, maybe there's a different path. Again, like I said, I'm not, you know, well versed on everything, but I think um, the, the idea is that some people think that you're gonna be able to get a foam, like a pressure washer out of a hose, but it's not gonna happen. The, the pressure is just not there. And, you know, the second option you just saw, this, this is the route you're going to want to go. This is the only route you're going to want to go. Um, or this. Again, I got this. I didn't get to use this yet. I will get to use this at some point. That's the route you're going to want to go if you really want to get some foam out of a garden hose. Otherwise, I, I don't see any other feasible way to bypass a pressure washer. Also listen, I'm here because I like to test things, try things, I have things, I get things, and I get bored. You know, a lot of people aren't gonna wanna waste time and money. When I posted the uh, handle video on that, some people were saying how they're too expensive, and I get that. Listen, I'm not here to shame anybody, I'm not trying to talk crap about people or tell you that you have to have a certain thing, you don't have to have certain things. Detailing is not about having the best of everything. Detailing is about finding your rhythm, finding a bunch of products that you like to use, it's for therapy. It's it's for us to enjoy and have fun and, and try things out, right? So buy what's in your budget and if you can't get that, get something else. There are alternatives to everything. You don't need to buy it. You don't need to have you know, a super expensive pressure washer when, you know, Active, for instance, makes a 2.0, it's incredible and it's super affordable. You can get the pressure washer and you don't need to do mods to an $80 handle. At this point, it doesn't even make sense. You could just get the damn pressure washer. Don't try to reinvent the wheel. Uh, don't feel bad if you don't have all these stupid things and don't, don't be watching YouTube and be like, oh, this guy's got this and he's doing that and why don't I have this and why can't I do that? Just make sure you stay in your own lane you're happy with what you're doing and you're just doing what you want to do and enjoying the process of detailing and living and loving life. I love you guys. I'll see you soon.